Hello everyone. This is um, the first video for process optimization and simulation. And this will be the, the first steps with DW Sim. I told you in the in the first lecture that we will use for this course, we will use the free software DW Sim. I quite like it. And yeah, it's so it's great i think great tool and i want to show you the first steps with a, with a very simple example um I will, I will show you how to simulate a hydropower plant and calculate the overall efficiency of the hydropower plant okay so this summer i was for one week i was in oberstdorf in the alps and there i found this quite nice hydropower plant and they gave a lot of information so here this was like an online screen where you could see the live values uh, with uh, with the power generated and the volume flow through the turbine and there were also some information boards where you could find a lot of data so since it's in german i um, translated it for you and what are the main parameters that we need for our simulation so concerning the piping or the duct um, we had a elevation or vertical difference of 270 meters we have a duct length of 1466 meters and we have a diameter of the duct of 600 millimeters for the turbine there was given that the maximum volume flow was about 0.69 cubic meters per second and the maximum power was 1.6 megawatts or so 1600 kilowatts and what's your homework um, i just want to know from you what is the overall efficiency of the turbine okay um yeah let's have a look at the simulation let's have a look at dw sim i uh yeah i recommended you to install dw sim on your computer and i hope you selected all four checkboxes otherwise you won't have the the full power of the program and here on my computer i have it in the whoops what is it yeah, I have it here and I always use the classical user interface. There should be two versions and I always use classical user interface. Make sure that you have the same. So here you can see classic UI was written there. Um, otherwise it would look different. Um, there's already an update available. So, but right now I don't want to do it. But what we want to do is uh, process modeling and we want to create a new so you just click here and then you will ask some questions about the simulation so you just click next then you are asked what components do you have and here it's a hydropower plant we only need water you click the checkbox here and then you can say next then you are asked what property packages uh, pr property package you want to use and for this um, the best you can do for water is to use steam tables so you just go here to steam tables. If you click once, then it's not sufficient. Then you would have to press add afterwards or you just do a double click. And then, so it's it's only accepted if it's on the right side here. If you just have it here, then it's not properly selected and you will get an error message in your simulation. Okay, then the next is uh, what units should be used. Um, so normally you could think, think that uh, SI units are best, but for me, I prefer to have uh, the temperature in degrees Celsius and the pressure in bars. And this can be achieved if you go to C5. I always use C5. Then you have here degrees Celsius bar, kilomoles per hour and so on. So I prefer to have C5. Okay. And then so with the new version of dw sim you also have the the possibility to do um, some in stationary simulations but we don't want to use it you can just go to close and remove it and then you can make your your flow sheet a little bit bigger okay so this is what dw sim looks like here you have your flow sheet where you will create your simulation and we start with a material stream um, and if you double click on the material stream then you can go here you find all the information about the material stream so let's first let's give it a better name than material stream one so let's say this is water up 
um, because the water is up on the hill. Okay, and then you have to press enter, otherwise it's not accepted. So the, the water, if it's on a mountain, it's rather cold, so let's say 7 degrees Celsius, press enter again. And in the, in the slides, I specified to you the volume flow. This was 0 0.69 cubic meters per second. So two things I have to recommend since I'm using, uh, or I have to, I have to uh, stress out. Um, the volume flow here is 0 0.69. Since I'm using a German computer, I have to type in here the colon. So, but it depends on your computer if you have to type in here a colon or a dot. So you have to find this out. And the other thing is that um, the volume flow was given in our slides in cubic meters per second. And here as a default value, we have cubic meters per hour. You just don't press enter, but you go here and then select it. And then you can change it to cubic meters per second. You click on it and then it will be recalculated in cubic meters per hour. So you don't have to do it with your pocket calculator, but DWSIM will do it for you. Okay, so then we have our water at the top of the mountain, and then we have to send it down to the valley, to the turbine with, uh, with a duct, with a pipe. And this can be done with the pressure changes. So you choose the piping segment, you just, drop it to your flow sheet. And yeah, what you have to do now is you have to connect the incoming water to the pipe. So then you go to your pipe. We only have one material stream, so it's water up. And what's very typical for all process simulations is that you have to, after every process step, after every unit operation, you need to have another material stream since your new properties are stored inside the material stream. So it's not possible to connect a pipe directly to a turbine or to a pump. You always have to have a material stream in between. So this means at the outlet of the pipe, we need another material stream. You could just go here to material stream and then uh, drop it to your flow sheet, but you can do it a little bit faster. There's a shortcut for it. You just go to this withering flash and you do some magic and then you have like your new material stream and it's uh, connected to your pipe. Okay, let's rename it. Let's call it water down. And we also need an energy stream. So you can, you could also have um, heat transfer in your pipe. We are not using it, but we, we need to connect it so that uh, DW SIM has all the information it needs. So this, the energy flow then will just be zero, no problem. Okay, then we have to specify what our pipe is like. So here we don't need to change anything, but we just say, okay, hydraulic profile. We just want to have one segment. You could also choose here different things. There's, a, you could, yeah, you could like a, a reduction, like whatever a border exit straight. We just, we want to make it simple. Just say I have, need a straight tube, and I would assume that it's normally uh, from carbon steel. So. I just go to carbon steel here, and then the, the properties here, like the surface roughness, and so they are taken from the some database inside DW Sim. Then the length, the length was given to, so you can see here, it changed uh, uh, to some given values taken from DW Sim. The length of the pipe was 1,466 meters. Press enter. Then the elevation, so this here is uh, higher. So this is on top of the mountain and this is in the valley. So the elevation now, we have to define it as a negative value. So it's minus 270 meters. The internal diameter was 600 millimeters. So the normally we don't need the external diameter, but uh just we can assume some wall thickness so let's say four millimeters wall thickness then you would have an outer diameter of 608 millimeters okay and then it's too important uh, then it's important to click here on the screen check button 
apply changes, otherwise it won't work. So you go to OK. And then you can say DW sim to solve the flow sheet. And then you can see it turned from red to blue. Blue means uh, calculated without errors. Doesn't mean that it's totally correct. But uh, yeah. OK. Um, Why do we have an energy flow here? That's crazy. Okay, we just didn't notice it before. Okay, then go to a thermal profile and define the heat exchange to zero. And then your energy flow it's not zero okay I don't know why but it's very little amount okay so let's ignore it maybe I find out uh, what's the problem here okay so this is uh, the specification of our water running down the running down the hill okay but so normally we would connect it to a turbine so again let's go to pressure changes if you try it if you say okay let's include a turbine here then you will get an error message because in dw sim the turbine uh, can be used only for gas phase media and here we have liquid water so it's not working so in most um, process engineering applications you are if you have a turbine then it's always gas phase so it was implemented like this in dw sim and we will do just a small workaround so we use a pump here um, since a pump is designed for um, for for liquids so to not confuse you we rename it to turbine and then we do again we connect the material flows okay so this is water down um, yeah you can see that the inlet pressure it rose from one bar to 26.5 bars so if we have like a, a pipe with no losses then the outlet pressure here should be 28 bars so you have like a pressure increase of roughly 10 uh, uh, of roughly one bar per 10 meters so if you have an elevation of 270 meters your pressure increase should be 27 bars and then it should be 28 bars uh, absolute and since you have some uh, pressure loss due to friction in your in your duct you only have an inlet pressure of 26.5 bars okay so the turbine needs an outlet flow just create it and you need the energy stream and this times this is what we are interested in we want to know what is the what is the power that we can get from the from the value uh, from the turbine okay let's rename it this should be water out if you're looking at the at the outflow right now then you can see there's no big change in pressure and you're you don't you're not producing any energy so what we do right now is uh, we we trick dw sim a little bit and we say okay i don't want to use the the pump or the turbine um, to increase the pressure but we just specify a pressure decrease over the pump so that we are using it as a turbine as a water turbine so for this we just say okay i want to specify the outlet pressure and the outlet pressure should be atmospheric pressure 1.013 bars and we want to have uh, isentropic turbine so we say the efficiency efficiency should be 100 percent this means this is the 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 highest power that you would get from an ideal turbine okay and if you look at this right now then you have here a maximum power output of 
1758 kilowatts. Okay, and yeah, what I want you to do as a homework, so it's very, very easy, hopefully. What I want you to do as a homework is that you um, calculate the overall efficiency of this hydropower plant. So you know the value already, but um, I just want to show you uh, how to do it with DW Sim. Um, yeah, you can say P max, so your maximum power that you could get with an ideal isentropic turbine. Um, you can import the value from your flow, si flow sheet simulation. You go to this cell here. Then you say import flow sheet object property. And then you say, okay, I need, a, where is it? The pump. You say pump, it's called turbine and power required. And you want to have it in kilowatts. And then you click on okay. And then you get a lot of uh, digits from it, but here you have the here you have the value, well, <laughs> not the value, but the value. And yeah, what you could also do uh, is now you can calculate within this uh, within the W sim. So you could say my overall efficiency, let's call it uh, eta for the efficiency. And you could just say, okay, this is, don't want to give you too much value, values. <laughs> Can't talk anymore. Um, so with this, you, you could say, okay, this should be again, C, what is it? C4 divided by 100. And so here with this, you could calculate, uh, this is your homework. You have to find out how to calculate the, the overall efficiency of the process. But so the, the formulas look like Excel, but unfortunately you have to type in the, the cell number. You have to type in by hand. You cannot just go here and click on the cell. This is not working. You have to put in, you have to type in C4 manually. Okay, so since this is uh, not correct, I will remove it. Okay, so this is, these were the first steps of DW Sim. Um, hope you liked it and yeah, thank you for watching.